Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Row. I'm here to do our Weibo installment number seven, guys. So Weibo is my series, What I Be On. I know it's not grammatically correct, but it is about my vibe, what I vibe on, my being, okay? So seven is the number for journeying to your God self or your higher self. What I heard as soon as I tapped in is elevating to my highest self and allowing nothing or no, no one to keep me from it. I find competition in no one but self. My only competition is myself. My goal every day is to become a better version of self. Okay? So, I harbor no resentments towards anyone, ever, because I've developed a skill for extracting my lessons and showing gratitude for them all. When you evolve to this state of mindfulness, you're able to see, and I wrote C-S-E-E -E in uh, quotation marks, with a discerning eye. And then I heard the word catalyst. So a catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction without itself undergoing any permanent chemical change. A person or a thing that precipitates an event. And then I heard manifesting sacred ritual, which I touched on in my daily energy read on yesterday. This is, has been an ongoing conversation that I've had with my team for about two weeks now about manifesting through sacred ritual. So because I am self-learned, everything about my spirituality, my practice, I got from the inside. I was led from the inside out by my team. Did not have anybody in the physical who was going through this sort of awakening spiritually that I was. And so I leaned heavily on my internal GPS. So about sacred ritual, the way that I manifest is I use only me and the power that lies within. Okay, I don't add things in sacred ritual. Okay, whatever. Because I know a lot of practices, um, magic practices, adds things in sacred ritual. But I was taught that that is wrong. That you don't do it because you are sovereign and powerful as yourself. And God prefers song and praise. Okay, so that's how I manifest. And I had another thought and it was just pulled away. So that means it's not time to share it, okay? And when it's time, it will represent, okay? So, when you are a master manifester, you can do it alone because you're powerful and sovereign. Or you can get in partnership with other powerful sovereign beings. Some people call it covens. I call it my soul tribe, okay? When I manifest with my soul tribe, it is not about um, doing things in ritual. It's more of a fervent um, discussion with universal forces about the highest good of all in a situation. What's most paramount about manifesting. Hold on a second. Yeah. My apologies. Okay, so what's most important about manifesting in a group is that you have to be like-minded, okay? For you to combine your powers, your manifestation powers, and it to work. You have to be with a like-minded group of people, meaning you stay on the goal and nobody wavers from it. That's why I manifest alone. I can control me. It's hard to find like-minded individuals that can control their being, okay? So I manifest alone. And luckily, because of my gifts, that I'm a master manifester, so it works 
perfectly. But if you need to be in conjunction with others to manifest, it's paramount mount, or super important that you get with like-minded people, soul tribe, okay? Not only soul tribe, but they have to be able to control their energy, okay? Otherwise, it's all for naught. This is everything I got tapping in for this Weibo number seven. So let's go ahead and get our message. It's going to be something along those lines. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do Weibo installment number seven for Fifth Element Row as a collective using me as the channel. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, guys. So the portal today is yellow, which is perfect for this message. Power, the core, the strength. Okay. So your solar plexus located above your belly button. The affirmation I mostly use for that chakra is I am powerful. Okay. So overall energy is coming from the um, Archangel Power Tarot deck. This deck is wrapped in yellow, all about the core, okay? So tell the overall energy about manifesting either in sacred ritual alone or with a soul tribe. What's the overall energy of the Weibo installment number seven? One card, please. And the card is out, and it comes as a challenge. Absolutely. And I feel this as resting darker works. Interesting. Okay. So because I feel without even looking at this card or the definition of this card, this the reason there this is a challenge is because somebody has been taught to manifest in darker entity or energies. Mm, entities. Interesting. Okay. So, Four of Michael, Four of Swords is a rest, a pause in the upright. It comes as a challenge as the overall read on the energy. Fours are foundational stuff, home, family, stability. I told you it was something that was taught. So, Four of Michael in this deck reads, Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off. Seek release from stress because working in darker energies is stressful, okay? It welcomes from dark, you're going to get dark, okay? Foundational stuff. So, at the base of this deck, what this overall energy is based on, perspective, beautiful, card number 12, 12 breaks to a three, so we got three, four. Um, threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Perspective, Archangel Chamuel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. And this daring to be different goes back to that learned way of behaving. Okay? Yes, this is something that was taught. I feel it strongly. Something in someone's bloodline, something that's been passed down from generation to generation. But because you've done something from generation to generation does not make it right. And you have an ability to do and grow a new thing. That's why this pause or this rest is a challenge. A need to change perspective. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and get our spread. Our spread is going to come from, I'm going to do the wisdom of the hidden realms. Beautiful. Wrapped in violet. Violet, violet. I was called here. Newer deck. So, crown chakra at the top of your head. The seventh chakra. So, we're at a seven uh, installment for Weibo. So this is all about otherworldly downloaded information. So tell us what the ethers have to say about pausing darker work and switching perspective. Tell the story. 
What's the biggest takeaway for this Weeble number seven? Tell the story, please. And I was made to shuffle three times. Connection and communication with the angelic realm. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, and we'll take a look at this deck. So we have one card as a challenge coming out on powerful masculine doing energy. Everything else is central to the issue. All cards come out. Oh, no. I got one card at the bottom. So the very first card for central to the issue is unknown. Everything else is face up, so known. As a challenge, masculine, powerful, doing energy, the spirit whisperer. Beautiful, but it causes a challenge. Why? Because this is something you learned and you're having a hard time ceasing it. The spirit whisperer, divine guidance, higher knowing card number three you cannot make this up threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm so powerfully stepping into the spirit whisperer energy which is all about divine guidance from the upper realms not the lower and a higher knowing also giving the indication of higher echelon spiritual knowing okay then central to the issue unknown from the bottom Yes. Can't, yeah, the high Lord of gratitude and service, selflessness, humility, conscious action. Card number two, partnerships and or alliance and balance for number two. It's in reverse. Why? Because somebody is not doing work for the highest good of all. This is a card of selfishness. Okay. Central to the issue. So, when you're doing darker works, you're give me, give me, give me. It's not about being in co-creation with the universe. This is a strong arm of the universe because it's like, this is what I want and I'm going to do this to get it. Okay? Leaves you in selfish manifesting energy. The diamond dreamer, material wealth and true prosperity. This is central to the issue. Card number six, harmony or the journey to. So one side, harmony, and then the other, okay? The arrow master. Hitting the mark, intention and detachment. Card number 10, 10 are about completions. So hitting this mark in darker work is done. This is how you get to your, your harmony, okay? The arrow master in reverse. Because it looks like it's effective, but it's not. Why? Because you haven't seen the spiritual ramifications yet. Okay, this is a clear and concise read at the base of this deck. Yes, the high lady of love and compassion, all selfishness, selfish, 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 both cards. It reads reverence, kindness, and consideration in reverse, meaning you have no reference for the spiritual realm. This is strong arm energy, and it gets you into karmic debt. Not just you, but future generations. So it makes sense that this is something that was passed down. Now, the reason why people continue dark work is because you'll feel or get something tangible for a short period of time. And you feel like that is worth it. But what does it do to your soul? And I tell you that it creates stains that some cannot ever remove. Okay? And so... It's clear and concise. There is a need to change perspective, okay? Why? Because justice is here. This is this energy I've been talking about. It's in the upright. Movement and abundance, justice, Archangel Regal. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. But you always get out what you put, get back what you put out. So if you've been unfavorable to the universe, you'll get back unfavorability. It's not rocket science. There is a need to change perspective. Now, what I'm going to do is the only card of the spread that comes as a challenge, which means that there is a knowing that this needs to be shifted, but unwilling to do the work is what I feel because you've done it so long getting small, tangible um, nuggets, but 
not having the ability to see that these small tangible things are temporal and do a um, permanent disservice to your soul. So getting into the spirit whisper energy is going to be super imperative. This connection and communication with the angelic realm to get correct divine guidance and higher knowing. Higher knowing, not lower knowing. Because darker work comes from ancestors in the lower realms, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify this card. It'll be the only one I clarify. I'm going to write her weight, traditional. It is wrapped in blue, all about getting to the heart of the matter. So tell me why the spirit whisper is here as a challenge. Just a few cards. Spirit whisper as a challenge. Yeah. Got to get into right relationship. I just heard it again with the divine. Thank you. Yeah. So you think you're getting something tangible, but really you're not. Okay. No, nothing tangible. That's exactly what that means in reverse. Thank you. Thank you. And a whole stack and I'm going to read them all. Okay. So, let's find out what we have here. First card, I believe, falls here as a challenge on the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, which is all about selfishness, selflessness, humility, and conscious action as a challenge. Yes, to be reciprocal, to get reciprocation, to get equal, give and take. This is from the universe, ma'am, sir, okay, as a challenge. Then struggling to tangibly receive, okay? This is not just tangible in this existence, but throughout existences. This covers material and spiritual receiving, okay? Falling over here on the spirit whisperer as a challenge. There's a juggle, light or dark, red or blue. Which one do I choose? After that, not wanting to miss an opportunity. Well, this has worked for me and I've gotten these small tangible things. Why would I go away from that? This is the energy that I feel. Unknown. There is a brand new opportunity handed to you by the divine to grow a new thing. Ace of Pentacles energy. In the upright. A brand new job. A new home. A win. Okay. Now, struggling, all of this comes as a challenge central to the issue from the bottom to be independently fruitful, to be on the right end of destiny, to give a small gesture of love or apology. To grow a new thing, a new creative spark, a new creative endeavor, a new passionate beginning in the light. To get away from your darker stuff. Things hidden behind someone's back. Theft, subterfuge, all covered by the Seven of Swords. To be in your upright, happy soul. Happy, happy, happy. Home, life, soul. To be as this action-oriented, goal-getted, goal-driven, powerful king. Okay? King of Wands is a challenge. Self-love, wholeness, absolutely. Ace of Cups is a challenge. Things hidden under the surface, a challenge. Yeah, because you don't know, you have not seen what this does to your soul. And I have. So nothing is free. Everything you put out, you'll get back in kind. So if you're putting darkness out, you'll get darkness. Struggling to make a choice, a definitive choice with the two of wands. Struggling to get into king of swords energies. This is about being logical. And it goes no further than me to, uh, for me than what you put out, you always get back. That's logical, okay? It's 
So if you've been putting out yuck and muck, you'll get it back. And it may not catch your tail, but it's going to catch someone in your bloodline. Resting this, four of Michael, four of swords, same card, different deck, is a challenge. Stepping into the energy of the king of cups, my king of love, open, available, giving, mature, okay? Of his heart, his love, the highest vibration of all, and the nurturing side of that love. So this is the masculine, powerful, doing energy. This is the feminine, nurturing energy, intuitive energy, all in love. That's beautiful. King and queen of cups, balanced and whole, struggling to get positive movement forward with the chariot, struggling to temper your emotions with temperance, why? Because you're confused. And it makes sense. If you were taught by family that this is the way you manifest and somebody like me comes along years later to tell you, no, that's wrong. I've seen what this does to your soul. Yes, it leaves you in confusion and illusion. But you have an ability now to grow a new thing with this Ace of Pentacles handed to you by the divine. At the base, there is a blockage here, I tell no lies. Because when you emit dark energy, you get dark back. So if you're wanting to welcome the light, you need to change course now, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse. This is our reading. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating this energy. Card of advice is going to come from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. It is wrapped in yellow. Actually, it's wrapped in red, I believe. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the deck that is wrapped in yellow. And we'll get our card of advice from it. This is the only other deck wrapped in yellow, so let's do it. It is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Yellow. All about strength, power, core. To get us out of this um, negative dark energy. Into the brightness and wholeness of who we are. So we can manifest bright, whole things. You need to rest the way that you've been doing it and start a new thing. So one card, card of advice, navigating the energy in the spread, put the element row as collective for Weevil number seven. Absolutely falls right here on the diamond dreamer, material wealth and true prosperity. Moving on to calmer waters, card number six, Harmony, the journey to I tell no lies. So I'll read from the book, their definition of the moving on card. Card number six. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, for giving us this clear and concise message. Moving on, you're about to embark on a much-needed journey to leave the past behind. This card lets you know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and it signifies that the time has arrived in which a difficult cycle in your life is coming to an end. In the traditional tarot, this card also implies traveling or going forward, involving crossing water or even moving abroad. Calmer waters are ahead, and with all the lessons you've learned from the past experiences, you're approaching this period having grown and you're so much stronger for it. The healing process is underway and now you can set your goals, desires and objectives to secure a more positive and successful future. Because your mind is more settled and less worried, synchronistic events will bring the right conditions and introduce people into your life for your highest good. I tell no lies. The time has come, beautiful people, to move on in the light. Okay? 
starts with a shift of perspective. This is our message for Weibo number seven. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. I tell no lies, the light is here, the best card in tarot based on it. Joy, illumination, celebration, and light. Until next month, my beautiful people, I am wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.